Well, I'd like to think that there's a couple people out there who might be wondering just how close you can get a cassette deck by adjusting its speed with an accurately, uh, an accurately recorded tape and a known reference just how close you could get. And the answer is pretty doggone close. <laughs> I mean, between uh, variances in the multimeter's accuracy and the differences between the two cassette decks, the one that made this tape, which again I believe to be basically dead on accurate, and the fact that this thing's motor changes speed a little bit between cold and warm, um, this thing runs a little faster when it's cold and slows down a bit when it's warm, much closer to the correct speed, but it's a very small change. We're talking 447 versus about 441 or 2, which is probably well within the margin of unavoidable considering that this is a pretty simple plain deck, but it's turning in a very good performance. So for those of you who are wondering just how close you can get using only your ears and a known reference tone, there's your answer. Now for those of you who remember or watched my previous video, um, you might remember that I said that this Sony RX77ES deck turned out to be running fast and not only did its time counter give it away because it was gaining time compared to the uh, audio generation software audacity but it was also um, it was also definitely way too fast and it was almost impossible to adjust that technics machine to match it so we got to adjust the speed on this one and let's just see how far this is off I've got my test tape in there and let's just see what's going on here Wow that's a pretty fair bit off. <laughs> can definitely do better than that, I think. Let's let's see if that's off the same way in both tape directions. Because this uh, Sony says this is a three-motor transport, and I'm not sure exactly what they mean by that. But my guess is that there might be a different motor for each tape hub, and a capstan, and then the uh, loading and ejecting motor, since that operation is fully automatic. So let's see if it's also off going the other direction. And the answer is, yes, it is. A little bit of speed instability there for a moment. Not sure what that was. I'm going to go ahead and try adjusting this machine and see if I can get it to uh, be much more accurate than it is. Because this is a nice machine, and I would definitely like to use it. So let's pop the cover and have a look. Wow, would you look at that transport. Boy, I hope nothing ever breaks inside that, because it really doesn't look like a lot of fun to open that up and fix it. Now, does it? But as you can see, speed adjustment is accomplished here, much the uh, same way as it was on the Technics deck, that there is just a little, there's just a little screw in the back of the motor that drives a variable uh, resistor that helps set the motor speed. And so, again, the way to do this is to go ahead start the tape. There we go. Now I got it. And the frequency is definitely still high. So go ahead and make this adjustment. Now this, this could be kind of dangerous here. So, you know, don't do anything that would jeopardize your safety because as you can see, this adjustment runs right past the uh, line transformer, which is directly connected to the AC power line. And while they have shielded that off with a circuit board, this definitely still has the potential to be dangerous. But if I'm careful, and I strongly suggest that if you consider doing anything like this, that you are also careful because you could wind up dead and you don't want to do that. I'll go ahead and adjust the speed here. See which way I'm going. That's going faster. So we'll go turn it down a little bit. I must have slipped out of the drive here. Well, as far as I'm concerned, that's close enough for government work. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the cover back on this thing, give it a try, and see what I think. I'll also test it in the other direction to make sure that it's keeping good speed there as well. Although it certainly should be. And there's the speed for the other direction set. It's pretty stable, though a little bit faster than the other playback direction. So I'm not sure what the difference is there, but um, that's probably plenty close enough for government work. So I think that's where I'm going to call it uh, quits for right now and go ahead and pop the cover back on this thing. Getting the cover off this thing almost required some violence because there's something sticky up here. I don't know if something might have been spilled on this thing at one point in time. really doesn't look like it, but it's hard to tell for sure.
but something definitely had this cover firmly stuck to the front of the unit after I'd removed all of the screws. So go ahead and pop the cover back on this thing and give it a listen. See what I think. Here goes. And now for a pre-recorded tape.